Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check the Foxir Cat S Starlight FUV camera. I've already released a couple of side-by-side -side comparisons, which pretty much demonstrate the excellent night capabilities of this camera. And today in this video, I'm going to go over its features and specs and then measure its latency. Inside the box, along with the camera, you can find the user manual, a mounting bracket, an OSD control board, spacers and screws, and two harnesses for connecting the camera to a TBS Unify VTX and the second one for connecting it to a Foxir Clear TX VTX. The weight of the Foxir Cat is 14.32 grams and its dimensions are 28.1 by 25.8 by 27.9 millimeters. On the back of the camera, you can find two separate plugs, one for connecting it to an OSD control board that will enable you to configure the camera and another one for connecting it to a flight controller or directly to a VTX. The left pin is the VCC and then the ground, video out and the VBAT sensor and the walking voltage of the camera is between 5 to 40 volts. Inside the camera you can find a 16x9 2 megapixels third inch sensor and the camera supports both NTSC and PAL and you can configure the aspect ratio to either 4x3 and 16x9. In addition, the Foxir Cat is using a 2.1mm IR sensitive lens. Now let's quickly go over the configuration of the camera. Pressing the center button on the OSD control board is going to bring us to the main menu where we can adjust the image, so you can mirror it, flip it, you can adjust the sharpness, color gain, gamma, and you can set the DNR to off, low, middle, or high. Next, you can change the auto white balance. By default, it is set to auto, and you can also manually configure it. Next, you can set the exposure. You can configure the A night. By default, it's set to color, and I recommend to set it to auto, and then the camera is going to automatically switch to black and white or color, depending on the threshold that you can configure here. So you can configure the day to night threshold and the night to day threshold. You can also set the delay between low middle and high, and this is going to affect the delay between changing the camera modes. Next, you can set the language between English and Chinese. Under system, you can choose whether to display the camera title, and if you want to display it, you can of course set it up. You can set whether you want to display the voltage, timer, you can change between NTSC and PAL, and you can configure the aspect ratio between 16 by 9 and 4 by 3. Over here you can see the camera version. Finally, you can reset the camera to its default settings and exit the menu. The next thing I've done is to measure the latency of the camera and in order to do it, I filmed an FEV screen when the camera was directly connected and turned off the light in my room. The video was recorded at 240 frames per second, which means that every frame is about 4 milliseconds and even though this method is not a very accurate way of measuring the camera latency, it can still give us a pretty good indication. So now I turned off the light in my room, and you can see that right now the room is completely dark, however we can still see the image on the screen because of the latency. So now we can count the frames, so it took 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 frames for the screen to go completely dark, so I can estimate that the latency is around 25 milliseconds. Overall, I can tell you that the Foxir Cat is a great FV camera, and even though it's marketed as a night camera and it performs very well at night, it still performs great during the day, so you can use it as an all-around camera. Its main downside is that currently it's available only as a full-sized camera, and I really hope that Foxir are going to release a mini-sized and even a micro-sized camera, because most of the racing frames that are currently being sold can accommodate only mini and micro-sized FUV cameras. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about the Foxir Cat, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.